Good morning, biologists. This is lab 2.08 for core biology at MNBA. We're using chemical indicators to detect macromolecules. What is a macromolecule? Well, a macromolecule, macro means big. Molecules are a bunch of atoms stuck together. So what we get when we put it all together a macromolecule is a big bunch of atoms all bonded together. A macromolecule is a big bunch of atoms all bonded together. This is question one on your lab sheet. Macromolecules in food are three groups that we're going to talk about today. You can find these groups on a nutrition label. Here we've got fat. Fat is a type of lipid. So lipids is our first group. There's lipids in lip balm. They're fats, oils, and waxes. And if you put on lip balm today, you've put on lipids. Carbohydrates are the next group here. They're an important source of energy for all kinds of living things. And protein is the next group of ma macromolecules we're going to look at. Number three is what is an indicator? An indicator tells us if there's a particular molecule present. Iodine here is an indicator. And I'm gonna show you really quickly the difference between an indicator in plain old water, right here, here's a little bit of iodine in just plain old water, it just turns the water yellow. There's no starch in this water. I'll put it up against my shirt so you can see the yellow color. If I take water and I boil some pasta in it, things might have changed a little bit. I'll put a little bit of indicator in here, and you can see we get a color change. Big difference from water that doesn't have starch in it to water that has starch in it. It indicates whether there's a particular molecule present. You can see the big difference there. So an indicator is a, is a material that changes color in the presence of a particular compound. You can see right here what I demonstrated with iodine. In the starchy water, it changed color because it's telling us, it's indicating that there's some starch in the pasta water. What will indicators tell us about the solution? They answer a question. In this case, it's iodine, and iodine is saying there's no starch in an apple. There are carbohydrates, but they're not in the form of starch. This is iodine on a piece of potato, and it's saying yes, there is starch in potatoes. So indicators tell us whether or not a molecule is present. They answer a question. In this case, iodine is answering a yes or no question about starch, which is one form of carbohydrate. Number five on your lab sheet is what macromolecule does each indicator detect? Well, as we found out, iodine detects starch. Copper sulfate's going to detect protein. Protein is an important class of molecules. You are made out of protein. Sudan 3 detects lipids. Remember, lipids are what you put on your lips. They're fats, oils, and waxes. You also eat oil and fat. So let's start with filling out table 6.1. What happens when we test water versus starch with iodine. And I have some other starchy liquid. This is water that I boiled some potatoes in for breakfast. Let's see if there's starch in this. Oh, we get that lovely blue color that tells us, yes, there is starch in potato water. 
In plain water, the iodine looks like this. So what we're going to put in our table here is that, yeah, no, there's no starch. And our evidence was no color change. In our starchy water, which contained potatoes when it was cooking, we're going to say, yes, there is starch. And our evidence here is there was a color change. The color ch changed to dark blue. Iodine answered our indicator question, is there starch in this water and the answer was yes for the potato water and for just plain tap water it was no because there wasn't a color change. This is what it looks like in the, the virtual lab. Here's the starch control in just plain water. Here's the test for starch in starchy water. Now we're just doing knowns here where we know there's starch in the water because we want to see what happens. We want to get a sense of what the indicators look like when we know for sure that there's a compound in the water. So let's do compounds with copper sulfate. I have some egg white here that I've added a little sodium hydroxide to and I also just have some plain water. So I've got two test tubes here. One that's got some egg white and sodium hydroxide in it. The sodium hydroxide is to break down the protein a little bit. We know egg white has protein in it. And we just have plain water. Let's add some copper sulfide. Oh, copper sulfate, excuse me. We can see that the water here, once we add the blue copper sulfate, is going to be pretty much just clear. Now, if we add the copper sulfate to the egg white, and the sodium hydroxide that we put in there to break down the protein a little bit. There it is. We just needed to shake it up a little bit more. So you can see that copper sulfide in water is pretty much clear. Copper sulfide in egg white turns a dark blue. It's indicating that there is protein. Copper sulfate is answers a yes or no question for us about is there protein in this solution. So for water, we're going to say no, there's no There's no color change, so there's no protein. For albumin, yes, it was dark purple. So that's indicating, yes, there's protein. So again, those indicators are asking, we're asking them a question and they're giving us a yes, no answer. Let's do some um, work with Sudan 3. That's going to tell us about lipids. So I've got some oil here, some, veg some vegetable oil, and some vegetable oil and some water. The vegetable oil is slightly yellow here. And we're going to test Sudan 3. First, I'll put it in the water. And then I'll put it in the oil. And we'll shake them both up a little bit. I'll use some paper here so you can see better. 
you can see that the water's just turning a little bit pink and the oil's turning kind of orange. There's not a dramatic color change in Sudan 3, but it changes kind of from red to a little bit orange. So we are indeed seeing lipids in our vegetable oil. So let's fill it in. We ask a question of Sudan 3, our indicator, and the answer it gave us was no lipids in water because there's no color change. It just stayed pink. And in vegetable oil, it said, yes, there are lipids. And the evidence for that was a color change to orangish pink. So there's what it looks like. It's even a very subtle, subtle color change in the virtual lab. You can see that there's really not too much difference between the water and the vegetable oil here. Here's some oil in the virtual lab. It's a subtle difference, but it's still a good indicator. It's just not as dramatic. So now we're gonna try, now that we know what the color change looks like, because we knew there were lipids, we knew there was starch in the starchy water, we knew that there was protein in the egg white, now we're gonna take an unknown and we're gonna look for uh, our three, macro, three, three macromolecules. We're looking, gonna look for starch with the iodine, we're gonna look for protein with the copper sulfate, and we're gonna look for Sudan, we're gonna look for lipids with the Sudan 3. So we're looking for starch, which is one kind of carbohydrate. We're looking for protein here, and we're looking for lipids here. We're gonna test for the three different compounds in the unknown solution. It's a little bit of unknown solution. We're going to look for starch with the iodine. I'll put a drop in there. Oh, we got a nice color change there. We're going to look for protein. I put a little sodium hydroxide in here to digest the protein. And that's still nice and blue. You don't see a lot of color change there. And I'm going to put a little Sudan 3 in the unknown and see if we get a color change. Nope, just pink. So it looks like the only color change here was for starch. Let's record this in our data table. So here we go. The iodine, there was a color change. So iodine, yes, there's starch. It changed to purple. No protein. We ask our copper sulfate indicator, is there protein? It answered the yes or no question as no, because there was no color change. No color change. It just stayed blue. And we asked our lipids indicator, Sudan 3, were there lipids present in the unknown? And our answer is no lipids, because there was no color change. So no lipids, no color change. Only starch in the unknown because that is the only indicator. The iodine was the only indicator that changed color. Here's what it looks like in the lab. There you can see that the unknown here turned purple just like ours. Uh, the unknown copper sulfate just turned blue here and the unknown lipid stayed pretty much the same color as the water in this experiment. I put this up, uh, this is the water and the vegetable oil. I put this up for a color reference. So that's what it looks like in the virtual lab. So now let's work on